Hello and welcome to Argos One. In this video, I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to place a concrete order in the Argos One app using your tablet or smartphone. To start, you can locate the app in Google Play or the App Store by typing in Argos Space One Space USA and there complete the download. Once you have downloaded the app, you can click on the icon from your homepage and you will be taken to the login screen. If you don't already have an Argos One account, you can reach out to your sales representative and request one. And you can also click on this link and request an account. You will need your Argos customer account number, which can be located on any one of your invoices. Once you have completed registration and you've created a password, you can log in using your email address. And the password that you created, which will require an uppercase, a number, and a special character. Once you have logged in, you will see options based on the permissions that your sales representative has granted you. In this video, we're going to review a place and order. I'm going to click on that button, and here I will have the option to place a single order or multiple orders in one city. Let's go through the single order first. You will have to have an existing project, an ongoing. You may have multiple projects. They will be listed and you would choose the one that you want to place the order against. Next, you will select the mix by clicking on that bar. You will see a list of all the mixes that are associated with that project. If you don't know your mix codes, you can ask for a different view from your sales representative and you will be asked a series of questions rather than having to choose the code. Let's just choose a code. Next, if this is available for your project, uh, you may have some associated products that you can add to your order. If you do need to add an additional product and you don't see it listed, again, you can reach out to your sales representative. I'm going to pick fiber for this order. Next, we want to complete the order information. Click on the bar for the delivery date. And you can see today's date is grayed out. So same day orders will need to be called into your dispatch office. Uh, you can place an order in 18 hours from now. So if you do need to place an order for tomorrow, you will be given choices of times that are 18 hours and further out from now. I'm going to choose the eighth. And the time, very simple, a.m. or p.m. if you have an afternoon pour. I'm going to keep it on AM. Next, you want to select the mix use. Now, this is a very long list of different uses. And if you have a keyword that you would like to type in, you can do that in the search bar and click search. And it will filter to all of the options that have that keyword. I'm going to choose slab. Next is the pouring method. Now, these are the different ways that we pour the concrete. Direct discharge is directly from the truck. I am going to pick that one. And the quantity here, one thing to note is that three is the minimum and 1,000 is the maximum. If you need to order outside of that range, then you would just need to call that into dispatch as normal. Okay, I'm choosing 55 yards. And when I have a quantity that's more than one truckload, I'm going to be offered a field for truck spacing. Order adjustment is optional. I'm going to click on that so you can see what it is. It's really asking dispatch to hold back on the last truck and then to check with you to see if you want that last load. If you wanted to hold back on the last two trucks, you can update that quantity and dispatch will contact you before sending you anything beyond that hold quantity. Finally, you would enter the contact information if it's someone different than yourself. 
you would put that person's cell phone number and name and dispatch will know to contact them on the day of the pour. Otherwise, if it's you, just put in your contact information. Lastly, we're going to click check availability. Argos One is going to look at the plant that has most dispatched for this project to look for your available time slot. If your time slot is available, you will see a blue bar and it will say your option and you will also be offered other flexible options. If your time slot was not available, all of the options would say flexible and you would be able to choose the time that's the closest to the one that you requested. Now there is a timer that counting down, it's three minutes. Uh, you have three minutes to complete the order because while you're making your decision, all of these time slots are blocked and no one else can place an order against them. So we want to limit how long that's blocked for. I'm going to choose the option that we wanted and it's going to take me to the final summary screen. Here I can review all of the final details. And I have the option to change the slump. I will always see the mid-range for that mix. And you can choose up or down in half inch increments up to one inch. Okay. There is a field delivery comments where you would want to enter any other type of information that you want the dispatcher to know. I'm going to indicate this is a test order. And if there was a code to a gate, let's say you needed to let the driver know how to get in, if there was some special directions, anything else that you would tell dispatch if you were on the phone with them, this is where you would put that information. I'm going to go ahead and place the order. There's the order number and all of your information, you will receive an email. Here is what your email will look like. It will show you the plant that will dispatch the order, and you can see the order is in pending status. Once the dispatcher confirms the order, you will receive a second email, and the status will say confirmed. 